So mounted on the back of the crankcase is one of the last important parts that we're going to talk about. This is the flywheel. The flywheel is responsible for three very important things. So we'll talk about each of those three things individually. Flywheel's job number one, cooling. This is an air-cooled engine. And if you look at the flywheel, it looks like a fan. That's on purpose. It's designed that way. So as it rotates, it's mounted on the opposite side of the crankshaft from the drive shaft. So it's on the crankshaft, rotates with the whole engine. As it rotates, it pushes air across these cooling fins right here and keeps the engine cool. So job number one is cooling. Job number two. Only the power stroke powers the other four strokes of the internal combustion engine. The rest of the time for a four stroke engine, it needs to coast. We talked about on the crankshaft, there's added extra weights. This mass keeps it spinning smoothly and well balanced. The flywheel does the same thing. It's mounted directly to the crankshaft on the back. So as the crankshaft rotates, it spins. It's well balanced and it has that extra mass to keep the engine moving for three of those four strokes. On the power stroke, the engine powered, but the other three just has to keep coasting. So the second job is to make sure the engine keeps moving through three of the four strokes. The third and final important job of the flywheel is to help with the ignition system. For the power stroke, we need a spark. That spark comes from a spark plug, and it's created by electricity. On the flywheel, right on the outside, are magnets. So, if you have uh, taken ComTech, or if you know much about magnetism and electricity, when you run a magnet past a coil of wire, it creates electricity. We'll talk about that more in depth another time, but we don't need to worry about it in this video. There's a magnet here, we run it past a coil of wire, and it creates electricity. These engines don't have batteries on them. You might have a battery on your ride-on lawn mower just to get it started, but once the engine's actually running, it creates its own electricity. It creates it when it needs it, and that's it. So as the flywheel rotates, it creates a spark using this magnet. That spark travels along and ignites inside the head. So that's the third main job of the flywheel. So again, the flywheel Looks like a fan for a reason. First job is cooling. It's round and it's nicely balanced also for a reason. The second job is to maintain the movement of the engine to have it coast through three of those four strokes. And finally, ignition. Using the magnets, we're able to ignite the spark in the engine coming directly from the magnets on the flywheel. So this is a very, very important part of the engine.